Hi, I'm Bob Byman for your next round. I teach a lot of amateurs, and I have not seen one amateur that really understands bunker play the way a professional would. So let's see what bunker play 101 might, might entail, okay? Firstly, the bottom of the club here, the flange of the club must be utilized. You want the flange of the club to hit the ground first. In order to ensure that that happens in almost every bunker shot that you hit, the club face is going to be very, very slightly open or even more open, okay? Now, we want to make sure that we take a swath of sand out of the underneath the ball, starting from behind the ball, goes underneath the ball, and then goes past the ball. So all day long, when we're hitting our normal iron shots, we always set the club directly behind the ball, very close to the ball, and then try to make a, take a divot after the ball. And I see this happen very, very often in amateur golf, and even in some professionals now. They put the club way too close to the ball in bunker play, with the tendency to always enter the ground past where you set it up. So I want to make sure that we never, ever hit it thin. That's the worst shot that you can possibly hit out of a bunker. So to ensure that, we set the club at least, we set that flange at least three inches behind the ball. That's where we want to enter the sand. Okay? Now, we're going to always have the club face slightly open, which is going to tend to put a little bit of uh, left to right spin on the ball which is going to dictate to us that we have to aim slightly to the left of our target of where we want the ball to end up. So knowing that, we know that the club is, has to go underneath the ball in order to hit a successful uh, bunker shot. So to ensure that we have the correct depth every time, I want you to make sure that you dig into the sand to the depth that you want the club to go underneath the ball. Now, one last thing that I, I rarely see any amateurs do. When you're hitting a normal golf shot and you're coming down in the impact, probably 85, 90% of your weight is into your left foot. Your right knee is kinked in and your lower body is in a particular relationship relative to impact. Our swing and bunker play is so short that we don't have time to move our lower body into that impact place with sensitivity and feel. So what we're gonna do in a bunker is to set up with our lower body nearly into that impact place at address. Now once we set up that way, a little left, the club is behind the ball, open club face, set up into our left side with the the weight is a little bit into our left, probably 70, 80 percent, and our lower body into our impact position. Then we can go ahead and make our normal swing and hit a good bunker shot. Let's see how we do. Get in there. This is Bob Byman for your next round.